It's four o'clock on a Thursday, and it's maybe the most important Thursday of my life. Okay, that's a hyperbole. It's not like the most exciting Thursday of my life, but it is a pretty big Thursday by comparison to a lot of the Thursday that I've had with us too much primer. It's pretty big by comparison to a lot of Thursdays I've had for the past year. I'll say that. I regret putting so much glow primer on. Ah, I was going off to work earlier. I had to go into the DJ booth. Now I'm back and I've got about, I want to say an hour to get ready before my book announcement slash tiny lit festival launch slash the real word BN spoken word performance, which is going to be really exciting because I get to be with a lot of my friends who are also wordsmiths and poets. And then there's me who's gonna be announcing my book tonight at around, I wanna say seven or 8 p.m. And I'm really excited because I've been waiting for this moment for like, I don't know, forever since I was a kid. And now it's finally happening. And I just, I'm not freaking out, but I know that I will get worse progressively towards the night. So as soon as I get to the box where it's gonna be held, I know I'm just gonna be shaking. Plus, I don't think my third cup of coffee is gonna be helping me at all. For foundation, I'm gonna be sticking to my favorite Fenty Beauty hydrating foundation. This whole month, to be honest, is gonna be really busy for me, promoting the book, promoting Janji Journal, which is also launching tonight. We just finished the pre-orders last night, which was incredible. But that is a more limited run and that's my own thing with May and Shasha. Whereas my book is going to be published in stores. And that's scarier because that's all my words and all the things that I've done in the past three years to be out there in the world. And I want to pretend I'm okay, but really I'm not. But I will be, hopefully. This is just going to be a very simple vlog. This video would just be focused on the launch and what I'm doing and am I going to go mad or freaking out? Probably, that's just who I am as a person. But that's okay because I've learned to manage it and respect myself when I'm in these moments of fear and aggravation. I don't know why though, but sometimes on occasion the Fenty Beauty foundation can look slightly gray on me even though it's supposed to be a golden undertone like me. Foundation base is done. I will check back with you guys in a bit when all of this is done. Yes. Ugh. I feel really stiff. I don't know why. <sighs> okay, makeup is done. It's very nice and wholesome. And for the first time in a long time, I put on eyelashes for an event. <sighs> ah, I like my makeup. I like the earrings, but I feel like I'm going to change the top or the skirt because I feel like a bit of a grandma and I don't think that's appropriate considering I'm not a grandmother. <sighs> I do like the hair though, it works well with the book trailer. Oh, okay, let's figure out an outfit and then I'm good to go. Mm. We got pizza and we got chicken wings. Ah. Hi. Yeah, I need. Sorry, sorry, my bad. Okay. Oh my god. Look at it. Look at it. I'm crying. Just I'm a little bit. My eye is really twitchy. I'm okay. The event started at around 8 p.m. and this was my second time performing for The Real Word for the Tiny Lit Fest. 
The box is actually a really nice location. I thought it felt like super cool and performy. After Jay finished talking, Dr. Cat came and did her own speech as the director of the Tiny Lit Fest for the year. Uh, welcome everybody to the spoken word and poetry. Uh, this is the event that we launched the Tiny Lit Festival for 2020. So all of us love stories, we're all made of stories. Um, we understand the world around us, we understand ourselves in the stories that we tell each other about each other, about ourselves, about the world around us. So if you love stories, this is the festival for you. I'm so very pleased to announce that once again, Tiny Lit Fest 2013 will be opening the launch of the daily collection of another young woman. So if you want to keep an eye on the screen, if you are here, I would have to be on the screen. I would have to be on the screen. Bye. For a very good flash hat. really don't know how to describe the feeling of seeing your work on a screen up on TV. I was crying a lot because this has always been a dream of mine and now that it was a reality, I just, I didn't know what to feel. Except, I can't believe this is happening. Hi, um, I won't be, um... It's weird to kind of talk about a book that I've been writing for three years because I assume that people know what it's about knowing fully well that they don't, it's just in my head. But yeah, it's a book that I wrote about love and romance and totally not based on my real life, just saying. I performed a piece called To All the Boys I Turned Into Poetry. Uh, <laughs> hashtag relatable question mark. You've probably heard me perform this all the time because I've definitely performed it at least four times already. But if you want the full version, I'll have a link to the Brunei Writers uh, performance, which is up on Instagram. Speaking of the Brunei Writers, the OG founders, me, May, and Mimi performed Four Walls, which is, I think, Brunei's first ever group poem. It's really, really interesting, I guess. You should also watch it. Link in the description. After we finished performing, I just got to sit back and relax and watch the other performers perform. I'm a sucker for spoken word and poetry, people pouring their heart out to make everyone laugh or cry with the occasional rhyme. So it's really incredible to see that the real world is really pushing to spoken word and wordsmiths and being amazing in what they do. If you want, I'll have a link to The Real Words Instagram and you can watch all these amazing, amazing performances. I think I say amazing a bit too much. It really was an incredible night and I'm really thankful that we got to have it happen. With everything that's going on, I'm happy that it all got to happen, especially during these strange times. The night was long and tiring, but it was good. It was so good. And now I can finally say I have a book and ah, yeah, that happened. Hi, it's me and I'm back. And it's actually been like two weeks after the launch of the Tiny Lit Festival and my vlog. I mean, my book, the, sorry, a lot of things has happened over the past few weeks. And only now have I gotten the chance to edit and realize I didn't do an ending for the night because I was so tired. So here it is. Oh, you can see my water there. I just want to say thank you to everyone who has watched this vlog and joined the Tiny Lit Fest, whether as a partner or as an audience member. Just being a part of this whole amazing event, it was incredible to see so many people who are in love with literature and the creative arts here in Brunei and just seeing it flourish is just amazing. It is. And yeah, I have a book out and I got to announce it on that night among like 80 people, which is incredible and makes me so anxious and scared, but really, really excited that I got to do it. 
if you want to pre-order my book, the link will be in the description. It's bit.ly slash oh my darling. We've got a really good number of pre-orders and I can't wait until it's actually in stores and then I'm gonna be like crying my eyes out because I could be like, oh my god, that's the book, that's the book in stores. And I'm just like, ah! But I do a lot of screaming anyway, so I'm gonna refrain myself. Thank you so much to everyone. Thank you for supporting us and the literary community. And thank you for pre-ordering. It is absolutely incredible and I cannot thank you enough. And this is where I think I'm gonna take a little bit of a break. Not from YouTube, but just like of life in general. Cause I think I'm a bit too tired, let's be honest. If you like this video, please do like, comment and subscribe. Thank you to my Patreons. I think they're gonna be here or here. And thank you to everybody. And now I'm gonna start doing my work because I actually have to finish this vlog and I gotta do some other stuff. But anyway, that's all I wanted to say. Bye. <laughs>